It's very unstable. It's about to explode. No, it's about a, to... Give me the time scale for that. The thing is, it could be tomorrow. It could be during this broadcast, and it would shine like a second sun in the sky. The universe is filled with many intriguing mysteries, but none so more than the recent anomalies discovered on the very known well Betelgeuse star. Sitting on the shoulders of the Orion constellation, astronomers are baffled by the JWST's most recent discoveries, which raise concerns about the future of the star and the potential for a supernova explosion. Historically, supernovas are quite difficult to spot mostly due to the short duration of their explosion. These stellar explosions produce a dazzling bubble of dust and gas that quickly fades away. In order to observe this, a telescope needs to be pointed in the right direction at the exact specific moment. However, Betelgeuse will be difficult to miss as it is one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Visible near Orion's shoulder, astronomers are speculating that the aging supergiant star is nearing its death due to the recent brightening trend. Betelgeuse's supernova explosion will be quite spectacular, but despite the star's recent peculiar behavior, it is not yet certain that its moment has come. In order to give you an idea of how big Betelgeuse actually is, imagine a star that would give Jupiter a run for its money if we put it in the middle of our solar system. So as a result of the star's size and location in the Milky Way, astronomers can examine Betelgeuse more thoroughly than they can most other stars. Recent pictures show a fascinating body that is not a single smooth sphere of extremely hot plasma, rather it is a lumpy cluster of bubbling gas, some of which are as big as tiny stars. Betelgeuse's core emits enormous plumes of heated material that rise to the surface before cooling and returning to the interior. As a star reaches its supernova state, it can no longer generate enough energy to withstand its own gravity and eventually its nuclear fuel runs out. This is followed by an enormous rise in temperature and pressure brought on by the collapse, causing a catastrophic explosion. Although supernovas can poison the solar systems in their vicinity with fatal radiation, we are in the ideal location to see Betelgeuse's demise. The star is at an approximate distance of 700 light years from Earth, which suggests that the explosion of Betelgeuse won't have a harmful effect on Earth. Betelgeuse has been getting brighter over the past few months and is currently radiating roughly 50% more light than it normally does. The brightness of this star has changed significantly during the past few years, falling by nearly 60% in 2019 and 2020. Based on observations from historical sources, astronomers have determined a 400-year cycle, but the most recent changes are occurring faster than expected. Currently, this celestial monster has drawn a lot of interest thanks to its recent dimming explosions and erratic behavior. Betelgeuse was officially identified by scientists as a red giant recently, which signifies a star that is close to dying and will eventually have a supernova explosion. Enjoying the video? Make sure to let us know your views on the dying star in the comment section below. JWST is playing a pivotal role in many discoveries related to the gigantic star. Scientists are exploring the intriguing possibilities of what this groundbreaking phenomenon could uncover with the James Webb Space Telescope's increased capabilities and exceptional sensitivity. Scientists were shocked when the telescope suddenly discovered the supernova. The discovery provided access to a completely new field of study. Astronomers were able to analyze the atmosphere of Betelgeuse with unmatched precision thanks to the cutting-edge instruments on board the James Webb Telescope, such as the Near Infrared Spectrograph, also known as NERSPEC. With the help of NERSPEC, the JWST can reveal important details about the elements present such as carbon, oxygen and nitrogen, as well as their abundances and distribution. These observations shed new light on the chemical makeup, history and atmospheric dynamics of the star. Recent dimming episodes in Betelgeuse have led to a lot of intense speculation regarding the reasons for its unpredictability. Astronomers are able to closely inspect the star's surface with the JWST's high-resolution imaging capabilities and spot any noteworthy changes or anomalies. The telescope can create precise maps of Betelgeuse's surface properties 
including hotspots, convective activity, and prospective gas ejections, by continuously observing the star. These observations will assist clarify the processes causing Betelgeuse's fluctuation and improve our knowledge of the evolution of big stars. Furthermore, with the help of the JWST's potent spectroscopic sensors like the mid-infrared instrument, scientists are able to peek deeply into Betelgeuse's core, providing information on the star's internal structure and evolutionary stage. Using JWST, astronomers have found out that the star is pulsating, changing brightness at intervals of a few months to a few years. In the past, when this happens, hydrogen and helium gas balls collapse into stars, causing hydrogen nuclei to fuse and releasing enormous amounts of energy. As long as the star has hydrogen fuel to support it, this energy warms the star, preventing further collapse. However, eventually the hydrogen runs out and the star starts fusing helium. As a result, the star enlarges becoming redder and finally starts to burn heavier substances like carbon, creating an iron core. Due to its high stability, iron cannot combine with other elements to produce energy. As a result, when the star's supply of carbon runs out, it explodes in a supernova to create a neutron star or, if it is huge enough, a black hole. The Betelgeuse is already undergoing this process of going supernova, so the only question that now remains is not if it will happen, but rather when it will happen. Contrary to popular belief that the star will explode hundreds of years from now, things are rapidly shifting. However, that doesn't mean the explosion will happen in a decade. Betelgeuse's unpredictable behavior signals that on a high end, it might take another hundred of years for it to go supernova. Or perhaps it has already occurred almost 700 light years ago and the light from it is just now reaching us. Either way, it is extremely difficult to detect a supernova beforehand. It is worth mentioning that a neutrino explosion will be the first indication that Betelgeuse has in fact exploded. With the current technology, astronomers will be able to detect an increase in neutrino emissions quite easily. As that happens, the star will become 10,000 to 100,000 times brighter as the light from the explosion arrives. It might eventually become half as bright as the moon and remain like that for months, and then eventually fade away. According to current calculations, Betelgeuse won't be able to harm our planet in any way, but it will be close enough for scientists to collect mountains of data on a phenomenon that we have only before seen from a considerable distance. This would be a crucial time for astronomers to advance our knowledge of star evolution. JWST will help reveal information on Betelgeuse's mass loss processes and its energy production mechanisms. These discoveries will further our knowledge of the evolution and final cataclysmic demise of big stars like Betelgeuse. All in all, the mysterious Betelgeuse offers an alluring target for investigation as the James Webb Space Telescope is ready to transform our understanding of the universe. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.